Hey everybody, welcome back to the Final Fantasy Seven Plus. Uh, <laughs> welcome back to the Final Fantasy Seven Platypus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the platypus materia. Yeah, I do like platypus materia. Okay, so I cannot find any PS One model Final Fantasy Seven character Good. doing the Fortnite dance. I still dance. have some faith in humanity. Someone, please do it. No, please, <laughs> for God's sake, do it. Ruin what's left of this man's yeah. life. <laughs> and delay remake seven, seven remake. But I said know. his life, not oh. mine. <laughs> Okay, so um, this is the last part of the uh, of our, our current session, and by this point, I am a little fatigued because I spent 15 minutes trying to get beta early. <laughs> I died so many fucking times because of bad RNG, and uh, my mind is not exactly up to snuff at this point in time because of two things. One, I don't steal any Shinra betas from the soldiers in this area uh, because I just couldn't be bothered, and two, I got that nice force stealer from the ceremony. I don't equip it <laughs> until after I get out of the boat. <laughs> It's one of those things where uh, I get to the boss of this area and I look at Cloud for a second. And I was like, "Fuck me! I forgot to equip the Force Stealer." Yeah, I, just, I had the same thing with the Legends playthrough where I forgot to equip an actual gun, so I ended up fighting the frog with the vacuum arm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so here's the thing: we're we're inside the uh, the Junior ship on our way to the other continent, or we're going to really Costa, chill music, Costa de Sol. This is kind of like a remix of like Wall Market in a way. Yeah. Uh, and it's actually, it's a, I like it. It's, it's very whimsical. You kind of have to talk to all your party members at least once. You got to talk to Arif twice, which is so weird because you're not proud to do that at all. Right. Uh, so, yeah, you go talk to everybody. We saw Yuffie. She's dressed as a sailor. Yes, uh, sir. Did you watch? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Aerith and Tifa are dressed as regular Shinra soldiers, just as you are. That sailor out there gives you something called Hero Drink, which is an item you get later on. Right now, it just heals you. Wait, wait, wait. wait he sells Hero Drinks? No, he gives you something called a hero drink, but in reality, it's just what he—it's the equivalent of a full heal. Uh, oh, okay, 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 okay. You talking about the one-use uh, item? Okay, I thought you were talking. Right. Wait, does he sell hero drinks? Because like, no. I'll buy those now. <laughs> He—he's just selling you monster energy. No, and this dude is just a regular dude who wants to take a vacation. I wonder who that one is. It's me, Red. Here. Huh? I shouldn't get caught. <laughs> I tell you, make a fine human being. Then he turns around, that. <laughs> and then you see the tail. <laughs> I like that little humor. So once you get done talking to all of them, you got to come down here, find out, ask her, hey, did you see Barrett? And we're like, no, we have not seen him at all. Yeah. And, and this yeah, causes... Honestly, he's pretty fucking hard to miss. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, though. Until you ask Arif twice... Uh, that guy or, won't leave. That guy won't leave. Uh, and then you can uh, head down and continue on your merry way. How's it going right there? Doesn't look like he's taking up much space, though, to be honest. Yeah, you can just go around him. There he is. <laughs> yeah, big old marshmallow. <laughs> A marshmallow covered with chocolate, a marshmallow full of chocolate filling, <laughs> which I wonder if it's actually a treat, you know, like you melt some marshmallow, you, still, you take a marshmallow or like a couple of them, put them around a chocolate and just melt them all together. We just inject chocolate into it and then you roast the marshmallow. So a chocolate stuffed marshmallow? Yeah. Listen, <laughs> in a world we where we fried Oreos, we fried that's Oreos. Nothing. Well, I was, also, I was going to bring up the 17,000 different varieties of Oreos. No, they exist. What? They actually exist. Oh. Chocolate stuffed marshmallows? Stuffed puffs is what they're called. Stuffed puffs. Yeah. Got Sorry, it. Got it. Got like, is Barrett the mascot? No. He should be. Damn. Missed opportunity. Buy my chocolate stuffed marshmallows <laughs> or I'll fucking shoot you. <laughs> Twice. God <Yeah>. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to add a swear. <laughs> it's just the random characters. <laughs> like the random double uh, symbols. Yeah. Here it is. This is on Walmart. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Walmart. <laughs> it's like, you got duped. <laughs> that shit does sound good right now, though. I wouldn't mind trying that. Stuffed puffs. Are you fucking fat? <laughs> yeah. and you're that fat enough? Do you, you, want, you want that extra filling? Are your USA chance not fat <laughs> enough? You want to feel the filling in your fucking thighs, you piece of shit? Do you want to give your dentist a thrill? <laughs> Give your dentist a reason to smile. You need more chocolate? <laughs> Stuff puffs. You want some shit in your marshmallows? <laughs> oh, who shit's on a marshmallow? <laughs> okay, we're going to be taking some time to get our uh, material lined up here. Yeah, I'm in the menu. I could be <laughs> There's yeah. really no real way to sign up for this next boss. It's just a straight-up slugfest. Yeah, it really is. It's a hot. It's a, it's a hoss fight. Hoss fight? Hoss fight. Just yeah! Like, yeah, basically. It's just like you smacking them, and they're smacking you. A suspicious character. Hmm. Hmm. Is it our next Smash character? No. <laughs> oh my it's god, Genova for Smash. Oh god. And now they're all material. They just throw them at you all the, everywhere. Hey, that's 1.4 million kill on the floor I just found. That's really if nice. If you master it. 
<laughs> go up there now. You can actually walk around and go up there now to get that chest, which is a upgraded weapon for Yuffie. Or at least a double uh, growth material weapon for There's a suspicious character. Yeah, there's a suspicious thing in your pocket. Oh, it's your wallet. <laughs> nice. Yeah, okay, these are the dudes you can steal Shinra Betas from, which is a really good piece of armor at this point in time. If you don't fall asleep. If you don't fall asleep. I do, and that's like, oh, fucking never mind. I'm not doing this. <laughs> this is going to take forever. I'm just going to nuke them. I got other things to do. Here, have my ass missiles. Matra, <laughs> bitch. He's got butt missiles. <laughs> Evidently, that would freak me to fuck out. <laughs> Let me see if I got this straight. Our entire infantry was destroyed by a man shooting missiles out of his ass. Yes, sir. Well, we're after a Do you think I'm fucking dumb? Yes, what? sir. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I no, sir, no. Bang. I, appreciate, I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> You're fired. Out of a cannon. <laughs> that's what that big cannon is for. Yeah, that's what the cannon is for, yeah. So you're firing employees. This seems really fucking impractical, don't you think? You can just shut up with one more in the cannon. This seems really impractical, sir. I'm very, not for, not for nothing, very cruel. That it is. Ready! <laughs> aim! Fire! He's singing his theme song to his head while Windslash is good for Yuffie. I uh, believe that is... is it's double double, double. Yeah, it's, it's her double material. Right? Double the lights. Mm. Probably going to be your main weapon if you choose to go the pure summoner route. <laughs> All right, Yuffie, here's what's going to happen. You're going to take You're gonna take damage for us. I'm what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, starting with Coastal to Soul, though, I will be attaching stuff to the uh, the weapon itself because I do want to take advantage of double material growth for a while, especially for all. I want to sell an all as soon as possible. <laughs> You need that money back after after Fort Condor. After Fort Condor, exactly. Is it Sephiroth? You could be honest with I me. I like to imagine this guy looks blo like a bloody corpse before he yeah. falls and dies. Wait, is it Sephiroth? Whoa, whoa. Fuck. Why does he disappear? Why does he disappear, though? Every other body is in here. Is not How come no disappear? item popped up? Hologram. Item. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Holy shit! <laughs> fucking T-1000 comes out of the floor. All right. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> you took everything from me. I don't even know who I'm you Cloud. are. I'm <laughs> Cloud. What are you thinking? What are you doing? I don't know. No. Interestingly <laughs> enough, you would think with Sephiroth's <laughs> ego, that would have really prompted more of a dialogue between the two, but Sephiroth don't even know him. Sephiroth, yeah. what are you thinking? I don't know. I'm just here to have a good also, time. Also, fucking random hands. <laughs> Eldritch Abomination. Hello, this is Genova. No, it dropped a limb of Genova, yeah, which yeah. then mutated and growed. Exa That's yeah. not feasible. Play Resident Evil 2. Yeah, I know. Seriously, G-Virus says hello. Yeah, so this I is, love this theme. This is our first encounter with Genova. Like, that fucking headless abomination we saw inside Shinra HQ is this thing. And also, interestingly oof. enough... Um, oh my god. I I'm, keep going. I forgot my point. I was going what make. were you thinking? That, if I knew, I'd fucking say. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'm trying to pro I'm trying to prod the memory. That's why. Oh, um, if See, you're at a very high enough level, I did this when I was fucking around with one of my few Game Shark runs. You can ambush this thing. <laughs> you can start with a surprise. Back yeah. <laughs> I thought they were here. <laughs> anyway, let's show off Shiva. We got her, so let's uh, show her off. She's nice, all. I love this fucking thing. Yo, is that Lynn from fucking Fire Emblem? Looks like it, doesn't it? Blue. Except blue. Yeah, the Genova uh, theme. Ten Shiva is still best Shiva. If you want to, uh, Ten Shiva? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would have to say. It's the hair for uh, with me. It's the hair and the finger snap. The finger snap? Yeah, that's that's really cool. Uh, hey, oh. 14 Shiva is also really good, too. I like that pun. What? You just made a pun. What did I say? Really cool. I did it again. God damn it. <laughs> uh, it's twice. It's so easy to do with, with ice. Uh, you know, the Genova theme, as Matt was saying, I absolutely love it, too. If I could recommend another version to listen to, the Black Mage's rendition. Decidious version is, is great, uh, too. Decidious version? I have to listen to that. Uh, oh, I thought you were doing, like, press your luck sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, no Genovas. <laughs> you, you try to poison it twice and it doesn't work. All this thing knows is lasers, which is kind of an odd thing for a monster like this to have in my It's opinion, also physical-based, because uh, it does less damage to the Yuffie in the back row. Good thing Red 13 ain't here so that he, went, he can't change it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Red 13 is actually not a bad choice to have for this fight, too, only because it's Luna Breaks. Yeah, Le Luna Takai is great to have here. Taste and the defensive percentage if you yeah. got it. Uh, besides that, yeah, Genova uh, is mostly just lasers uh, in like both of the single target and the multi-target variety, and she also can't stop every once in a while. She also can't. She um also no, there's no other techniques. I'm thinking of the wrong Genova. She only has 4,000 HP, so if you got beta like Johnny did here, it's going down. 
Yay! Also, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm glad we I won, like, but what the shit was that? Said said Yuffie. <laughs> White cape, protection from frog and small. Grab that red orb. That's it for it. If you yeah. miss it now, you're not going to get told. Uh, Bone, Bone Village. Village. Yeah, because this is a one and done area. He's been carrying Genova around? Like a Genova's in his little pocket. Yeah. How did you manage to carry Genova? How do you carry your other two party members? Oh. Hey, motherfucker, that only works with me. <laughs> <laughs> he he had it in a box. God explains what happened so far. Uh, <laughs> I like to imagine he starts. Um, Sephiroth can come through. <laughs> no, can it's go just, th- it's simple. Se- Aliens. <laughs> that's, that's what Se- it is. Sephiroth, yeah. Sephiroth can go through floors now. <laughs> um, He can fly. All right, here's how it began. Me, Barrett, went to Sector 7 to begin a bombing mission. Then we went to a bar. You were there. Then we flashed back. Cloud abridged. Oh. (laughs) Several came out, did shit. Then we left. Gotcha. Although in reality, what we're seeing, obviously, is just an extension of Genova. Why do you turn off encounters? You can't find anything anymore at that point. I'm scared. (laughs) (laughs) Can't be too careful, you know? Now let's go. Let's go have some fun in the sun. I turn off encounters now. I won't get ambushed by Leviathan in the middle of our <laughs> boat trip. Poor Cecil. Christ. No, that's the territory of Cecil Harvey. Cecil Harvey. We are named for a moon man, but. Oh, fuck it. This thing turns in place. Very <laughs> impressive for a boat. So we, if Cecil dies, do you say goodbye? Beep, do you say goodbye, beep, moon man? Beep beep beep. If Cecil if Cecil dies, does that, do you have to sing goodbye, Moon Man? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Welcome to Golden Key. No. <laughs> this is closer to soul. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm really hoping the seven cr- remake crew picks up on alternate costumes. Yeah, no Sailor Barrett. Yes. You probably want to find anything else to wear for the rest of the game. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking of every other time a character wears a different costume in this game. And I'm like legitimately thinking of all the costumes for other characters. Because we talked about Cloud and dress and, and Cloud in a dress. Sephiroth getting, stabbing Aerith in her dress? Yep. <laughs> I'm like... Aerith with the Sephiroth prop that sticks out of her back. <laughs> um, I'm like... Sailor Barrett. There's a point where Yuffie disguises herself as a reporter. I would like that as a yes. different uh, costume. Like I'm, look, I'm looking There's in the, the back. The inevitable swimsuit episode. What are you looking in the back? The guy, in the, the sailor in the back. No, uh, where it says helipad. Yeah. I know it says helipad, but because of like how like low it is in terms of into like, how low it is, it looks, it looks like helipad. Helipad. There's Walking. a guy on the watchtower. Yeah, yeah, it's the Shinra dude. I never knew that. Yeah, the Shinra manager is like just keeping an eye. Demoted on the light to tower. light tower. Yeah. I hate my job. <laughs> we know, Bob. Jesus Christ. You know what, though? That is sort of like a nice end game. like, if you're not going to do anything else in your life kind of position. Throw me in a lighthouse. I'll fucking guide the ships to sail. $2,000. Give me room and board. Yeah, I was going to say, the pay is good, sure, because that's a lot of isolation. If I can have my video games up there, I don't give a shit. As long as i got a good Wi-Fi. <laughs> right? Seaplane only. Meanwhile, it seems as though... That we had both our guys and Sephiroth on board, and Rufus was none the wiser, so he's going to be a wee bit pissed. Mm, pissed off. He's going to also just put the whole thing on fucking uh, Heidegger too. I like how he fl- I like how he ships over here and then gets in a helicopter. Like, why don't you take the helicopter? Why don't you take the first? helicopter in the first Yeah. Exactly. Hey, hey, Heidegger. Shut Maybe up. it's a short range. Also, play close to the position our manager here, because you know, this this dude has just the fucking shittiest luck. Oh yeah. fuck! Whoa. <laughs> Was God that a damn! Classic too. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Praise helicopter. <laughs> Praise helicopter. <laughs> so I heard Sephiroth was on board. Yes. yes. And Cloud, where the others were too. Yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck do I pay you guys for? Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm just here. Is that all you can do? Give one word answers and apologize for everything. I mean, what else am I supposed to do, sir? Now, the context of this is do something is do something to stop this. I'll be expecting results. I like to interpret it as just do fucking anything, man. I yeah. want results. And then Hydra's just like, all right, I ate five topsicles. Yeah. <laughs> I did something. You asked for something, you fucking smart ass. I hate you. <laughs> Pay me. <laughs> Your father was better, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like, do something, I expect results. Okay, um, I sold my soul for God, AIDS. I think we don't see Heidegger until this too, after this point, do we? Yeah. Uh, do we? Fuck Heidegger. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think the next time we'll see him is when the weapons are released. Yeah. Yeah, I believe so, because at this point, the weapons are, the Shinra becomes kind of a, a secondary thing. Uh, right now, you're focusing on world building. Yeah, exactly, and chasing Sephiroth. <laughs> also, do you get this place for 300,000 gil? Later down the road, yeah. Which, I mean, you, uh, again, you sell them all. You can buy this place if you want. You can actually purchase the house? Yeah, yeah you can. It's your own place. I like the idea of it, and I'm hoping, like, how in the remake, they um, let you deck it up a bit. Deck it up a bit? Uh, you fucking go GTA and, like, have it, like, make it a business investment? Motor drive. Tifa's a uh, double weapon. You also got a fire ring here, so if you want to try to swim all the way back to the other land, you can actually now cheese <laughs> the... Uh, yeah, because you, you can't take the boat back. Uh, you can do that if you want to. I don't know why you wouldn't. Oh, Fort Condor, actually. Yeah. <laughs> does, Con does anyone question why the boat's on the move? <laughs> well, because the boat has to make shipments, you know. And the uh, you can talk to the um, the guard next to the uh, the boat itself, and he he immediately identifies you as stowaways. But he says, "I don't really care because we get them all the time," <laughs> which is why I think they have no problem with you going back in the boat. Homeless guy down there in the bottom left corner. In this too, he'll sell rare weapons you don't get anywhere else, but they're immediately outclassed by the um, medial weaponry. Yeah. However, if you also buy from him, you get eight slot weaponry. So, but they're only normal growth. So. Platinum bangle. I don't remember what the benefit was for them because double. they're what, was it double? Are they double armor? I think so. Yes. Yeah, because they're they're not as strong as carbon bangles, like defensive wise. But if they're double material growth, that would justify why they're a thousand kill more expensive. But uh, yeah, again, uh, if, you, if you were looking for a spot to start uh, grinding materia growth for uh, whatever reason, uh, starting with Coastal Soul, you can easily do that. Anyway, uh, so depending on who you have in your party, everybody else will be around the beach area doing their own thing. Red 13 is just uh, napping under the uh, the shade because the, the sun is drying his nose. You can kick the soccer ball to him because you're a dick. Right. <laughs> oh, it's Johnny from Sector 7. I'll talk to Tifa if, he, if she's not in the party. Depending on who you got in the party, the other members will do other shit. Yeah. Tifa will be catching up with Johnny here. I'm Cloud. Don't you and forget don't it. don't you forget it. Listen, Jack. You say Zach. Jack. Zach? <laughs> I remember Zach. Actually, this is kind of sad, though, because Johnny is kind of, like, still recovering from Sector 7. Huh. So he's kind of jittery. It's like, yeah, you know, that's understandable. I'll leave you alone. Nothing else to do here, though. There's someone taking a bath. That's what you, those, those, those are the sound effects you're hearing. Yeah. Uh, Barrett will be in the in the inn. Yeah. He'll try to. He'll be like. He'll be like goofing off about this. Eris, like, oh, wow, look, yeah, he looks yeah, yeah, little look, girl. Yeah, because initially the uh, Eris and Tifa tease him that he looks pretty good in that sailor outfit, and he, he's bashful about it. But yeah, you can find him in the bathroom trying it on. Seal, <laughs> seal is sleep and silence magic. Not very helpful in this game, but there you go. This guy offers you softs, and uh, in our next destination, yeah, we're gonna take a couple because our next destination is Mount Coral, and enemies can't petrify you there. And you don't have ribbons yet, so uh, don't do it. Just good to have. Just a good thing. I to like have this place because of the uh, yeah. bar. If you want to wrap things up in terms of like NPC conversation, you sleep here, but don't do it yet because we're gonna get some more flavor text. A big sailor just busted down here all of a sudden. He's been in there. Okay. Moaning ever mm. since. He's jacking it. Yeah. <laughs> With his gun arm. So please don't tell me I have to leave now. I just got <laughs> comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to Because there is a cutscene you're going to want to see. Yeah. There is definitely a cutscene you want to see later. Aerith does something in this room, I believe. It's after the cutscene. Oh, sorry. Yeah. If you try, if you say the wrong thing to her, you will lose a lot of relationship points with her. Really? Mm. Yeah. Because the cutscene is really insensitive. Uh, so we'll we'll see it soon because we're gonna we're gonna see that scene in question. Anyway, so uh, fucking. Um, <laughs> you feel will be selling. You feel will be selling, helping the guy sell things. And she'll be like, hey, Cloud, why don't you help me make a buck? And I'm sitting there like, I'm paying you, and you're coming back with me. So that's where's the money going? It's that's also, the point. Oh, it's implied that she steals the materia, too. Like, <laughs> uh, that, she, uh, that she helps the thing. That's a very Yuffie thing to do, so I buy it. Yeah. We never use that materia for ourselves, though. I guess she just immediately shipped it to Wutai via Amazon Midgar. <laughs> anyway, so Hojo's here in his lab coat just getting a tan. 
Is that Hojo? Yeah, that is. And his coat, Hojo. nonetheless, though. Yeah, well, Hojo he's got the tans. Get, the tans gonna be really uneven. But he's gonna have. A, but he has an amazing body. He's not showing the world. Damn right. We can show it right here, actually, on the screen. Magnificent. Unbelievable. Gross. <laughs> now that's what it? science does. <laughs> <laughs> That just makes you want to crossbreed specimens. Sometimes you got to do something like okay, this. Okay, so Hojo... I love, how, I love how Hojo's playing the idiot when in reality, everything he's saying can be equally true. Like, what does it look like? I'm getting a tan. Yeah. Why are you doing this? I need to, I need to take a break. <laughs> I quit Midgar and I want to get a tan. And I have a really big dick. <laughs> Not that you would know. Ever I had the feeling that someone's calling to us? Or that I had the urge to visit a place? And Cloud just did some foreshadowing there. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. He also catches the eyes. Which, <laughs> I think Hojo plays them. Oh, Cloud, Eris, what a touching reunion. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I wanted the evil scientist laugh there. Yeah. <laughs> that, I felt dirty when you said that. Aren't you the ancient? I'm oops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oops. <laughs> <laughs> she stumbles. <laughs> Ifana. That's a, that's something else new. How did you know about her mother? You know, she died. I see. Ooh. <laughs> Why wouldn't he know that, though? Because wasn't he there when they were shot down? Yes, he was. Yeah, so uh, why was he playing dumb with that? Because he doesn't want... She she doesn't know that he was there. I, you know, I guess suppose so. And it doesn't benefit anybody if, he, if she knew, so... Right. Meanwhile, he's going to go back to his tent, and you're not allowed to... And Tifa's ready to fucking throw yeah, the Tifa's hands. Ready, yeah, Tifa's ready to punch this dude in the face. I guess that's the mark of an intellectual. Or an idiot. Or an idiot, <laughs> Yeah, no. Um, and only true intellectuals understand the pain and pleasures of heat stroke. <laughs> if you wear your coat while while tanning, big pee pee. Yeah. <laughs> if you're comp if you're nearly nude and only wearing speedos or trunks, small pee pee. And that's all it takes. Those are the al those are the algorithms and equations going through Hojo's head <laughs> while wearing a lab coat <laughs> in the sun. Because he's getting heat stroke. <laughs> and because he doesn't call it a dick, nobody respects him. Yeah. There's so many things I don't understand. How do they get the M's on the M&M's? <laughs> How do they get the S's on Skittles? Yeah, if you do nothing much, big drop in relationship values. So don't Wow. Do yeah. I did that. I I'm already Tifa going, thing. yeah, because I'm going for Tifa for the gold saucer date, but about the same time, I don't want to be fucking outright mean. You, there. you don't want to be an asshole. Yeah. No, but oh, that's, that's kind of a thing I was talking about last time. We're, we're near the end of this part, so I'm going to have to say it for later, but the problem I, I ultimately have with, you know, Eris being a character that gets killed off at the end of disc yeah. one is that unless I'm feeling different, I feel no real need to spend time with her as a party member you know what i mean yeah you know even though uh it doesn't take much to her to get her limits up and to get the great gospel if you know where to look for it i, I feel i don't get much investment back from investing into her because i know she's going to die at the end of the disc do you ever feel that way with a character in any other game no nope. like you know that this character is not long for this playthrough so why bother wasting money and time and stats on that shinjiro persona 3 I don't know what that means. You'll tell you. You'll find out when I you find out. Well, I was gonna say I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, yeah, but I just wanted to know if anybody else had a similar train of thought, and uh, that that's personally why I don't really get involved with her character that much nowadays, unless I'm I'm feeling different for the for the playthrough. How yeah. about you, Elliot? I you can't really think of a character like that to be honest. Nothing, nothing at all. Not, it doesn't have to be an RPG. I know, I know. I'm yeah. like, I'm like trying to go off on like every other game I play, but really, I can't think yeah. of anything at the top of my head. Yeah, yeah it happens on, on occasion. That's generally why I don't spend a lot of time with Eric because I know she's not long for this world. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you know, I'll, I'll focus on Tifa or Yuffie uh, instead. But anyway, we're gonna call it a part here, and thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time. More Final Fantasy Seven.